एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम विपुल गुप्ता आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड एंजॉइंग दिस एसक्यूएल इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन सीरीज सो गाइस टुडे आई एम बैक विद अनदर इंटरव्यू प्रॉब्लम दिस प्रॉब्लम हैज बीन पार्ट ऑफ एक्सेंचर्स डेटा एनालिस्ट इंटरव्यू एंड इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट एंड द स्टेप बाय स्टेप सॉल्यूशन सो गाइस इफ यू आर टारगेटिंग अ रोल ऑफ अ मार्केटिंग एनालिस्ट और अ मार्केटिंग डेटा एनालिस्ट यू आर गोइंग टू एंजॉय दिस प्रॉब्लम अ लॉट बिकॉज this problem is around marketing campaigns data right and if you are working on similar profiles or roles you can expect these kind of business problems on regular basis so guys now we are going to start this video but before proceeding further do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any update regarding the upcoming videos all right so guys let's get started so guys first of all let's quickly understand this problem statement the title of this problem is ad performance rating and with the title it is clear that we are going to play around with the advertising campaign data right now let's understand the problem statement so here it is mentioned that following a recent advertising campaign the marketing department which is to classify its efforts based on the total number of units sold for each product all right so as with this line it is clear that we need to work on some advertising campaign data right and here the marketing department wants to classify its efforts based on the total number of units sold for each product right so the company is selling some product right and they have ran a marketing campaign right so now they want to understand like they have spent some effort on advertising few products right now based on their sales they will rate the performance of the various ads campaign that they have ran right now moving further it is mentioned that you have been tasked with calculating the total number of units sold for each product and categorizing ad performance based on the following criteria of the items sold right so guys as we discussed that we need to classify the efforts now in this part we have given some bifurcation rule right so if the sale of product sold is greater than 30 units then we can consider that the ad performance for that specific product is outstanding and similarly we if the sale is between 20 to 29 then it is satisfactory if 10 to 19 then it's unsatisfactory and for 1 to 9 it's poor right and it is mentioned that your output should contain the product id total number of units sold in the descending order and the categorized ad performance right so guys now we have read the problem statement now based on our understanding of this problem let's make some pointers right so first of all in the select statement what do we want to print we want the product id total units sold in the descending order and the categorized ad performance right so i will be writing select product id total units sold descending order right and the add performance rating all right now this is the first pointer moving ahead in order to classify this add performance rating we need to follow this method so i will be writing it right so guys now we are good with the pointers right now let's take a preview of the data sets which are available to us right so guys here we just have one table by the name marketing campaign and these are the available columns now let's take the preview all right so here we have five columns we have user id who has made the purchase then we have the created ad column so it is depicting a date when the purchase has happened then we have the product id which has been sold then the quantity and the price right so we are good with these five column so now let's go back to the pointers so that we can strategize how we we are going to write the final query right so in the select statement we want to print the product id so guys this product id is something which we can take from this column as it is right now further we have to find out the total units sold right so guys we do not have any similar column which is depicting the total units sold but what we can do we can take the sum of this quantity right so it will give us the total units sold 
and the third column is ad performance rating right now ad performance rating is something that we need to calculate on the basis of total number of units sold right and since we do not have this as of now so we'll be calculating it first right so first of all i will be writing select product underscore id right comma sum of quantity right so this sum of quantity will give us the total units sold as total units sold from marketing campaign right now since we want to take this quantity sum of quantity with respect to the product id so we need to use group by so i will be writing group by 1 right now let's execute this to see what we are getting. All right. So guys, here we have the product ID and the corresponding number of units sold, right? So now we are good with these two columns. Now moving further, we need to calculate this ad performance rating, right? So for that, I will be putting this in a CTE, right? As right. Now we have been given the conditions that we are going to use while doing this calculation of ad performance rating, right? So guys, in these kind of scenarios where we have been given with some conditions and some ranges, so here we need to use case statement. So now select, so I will be writing product ID. So I will be referring this CTE now, right? So product ID comma total units sold right now further we need to calculate the ad performance rating and for that i will be writing case when total units sold is greater than 30 then i will be writing outstanding right when so when total units sold is greater than let me check is greater than 20 so all right so guys here we have to include 30 as well so i will be writing greater than equal to similarly if total unit sold is greater than equal to 20 and let me copy it it's difficult to type it again and again is less than equal to 29 then it's satisfactory right let me copy it once again so when oh uh, it's all right so i'll be replacing it with 19 and this with 10 all right now if we have this 1 to 9 condition so if it is greater than or equal to 1 and 9 so let me replace this so if the number of units sold is greater than 10 and less than 19 then it is unsatisfactory right and for this case it is 4 right else null and as add performance rating right from cte order by two right and we need to mention descending all right so guys now we are good with this query let's execute this to see what we are getting uh, so i think i made a mistake so i have written small cte whereas we have declared capital c and small te right so let me replace it. All right. Great. So guys, now we are able to print the final output. We have the product ID. We have the total units sold. And on the basis of this total units sold, we have created this column add performance rating. Right. Now here you can see that here for product ID one zero five, 
the number of units sold is greater than 30 therefore we are getting the ad performance rating as outstanding so it is satisfying this condition right similarly for the second record it is satisfying the second condition right so we have printed satisfactory and same is the case for the other products right so guys this way you can solve these kind of problem and if you are working in the marketing industry or marketing domain you will be encountering these kind of scenarios or problems on regular basis right so guys let me give you a recap of what we have done right so first of all we have created a ct and in this ct we have calculated the total units sold by taking the sum of this quantity column right which is depicting the number of items sold of a particular product right and we have taken this aggregation with respect to the product id so here in the ct we have these two columns right now further we are referring this ct and we are calculating the ad performance rating and we are using these case scenarios and it is available to us in the problem statement itself here right so guys this is a pretty simple problem right but you can expect these kind of problems in any kind of interview right so guys thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this problem statement and if you have any doubt or any suggestion do let us know in the comment section below and if you have any problem statement and you want me to make a solution video on that you can reach out to me on my gmail instagram or linkedin all the details i have been mentioned in the description section below and follow my channel for more videos like this so guys thank you for watching this video keep learning keep growing see you in the next video